Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, this is the second part of our, this project today. Um, my previous video, I showed you how to um, colour, do the colouring here. We're using the Accented Blooms stamp set, which is this one here. Um, and we're using this big stamp and it just holds holds itself um, you know you just need to color it I think um, and so I showed you in the last video how I colored using our watercolor pencils and a blender pen um, so I hope you found that that helpful of course you could also use um, our blend our stamping blends or you could use um, our aqua painter with some um, of our refill ink lots of different ways to color but I chose to do this with our watercolor pencils anyway this was the one that I showed you originally this one I made as well um, I'm going to use these as my customer thank you gifts for this month so this one will be going um, to a customer I did it in slightly different colors so I used Bermuda Bay D DSP and Mel uh, Mango Melody for the trim and the stamp there and just colored the flowers slightly differently so anyway I'm going to put together today the card that we colored the other day which was this we did the colouring together on my video the other day. Um, so I'm going to show you how, just how to put the card together. So you start off and you need normal card blank, which for me is, you start off with a piece of our thick whisper white, which is 21 by 14 and a half centimetres, and you score it at 10 and a half. If you're working in Imperial, it's eight and a quarter by five and three quarter inches, scored at four and an eight. So that's our card blank. I've just scored it and folded it. I will just get my bone folder out and just give it another burnish to make that lie nice and flat right and then you need a piece of designer series paper this is our six by six um designer series paper um which comes in packs of all the different color families so all the inco both the in color families and the brights neutrals subtles and regals um so this is from the subtles this one um this is balmy blue Okay, and what we're going to do, now I've cut this DSP half a centimetre or quarter of an inch smaller than my card blank at the top and bottom, but only a quarter, uh, only half of that measurement here. So, in centimetres, this panel measures 14 by 10 and a quarter centimetres, and in inches it measures five and a half by four inches. So, I'm just going to take some Tombow. I'm going to stick that on. So trying to get it as thin as I can and as close to the um, edge as I can because I want the edges to be stuck down. And I've got a little bit on a lid here because I want to use that in a minute for sticking the die cut. So I'm just going to take my, so you see my cocktail stick has got some glue around it. So if I smooth that out, it uses the glue that's already on there plus the residue on the cocktail stick what this means is the edges get really well stuck down and I don't want them to be flapping or look like they're not stuck down properly so I just do that maybe dip it in a little bit more get a little bit more glue on there um, there you go and then and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to butt this up against the left hand side of the card blank and so it there won't be a board around the left hand side but there will round that there'll be a small border on the right hand side so I'm trying to get the borders at the top and the bottom the same so the, the good thing about the Tombow is it will give you time to line this up really carefully um, to get this in the right place and when you're happy you can glue it down and let it dry there we go and then next we need to glue the die cut now this die cut is from the lovely lily pad or the lily pad dies which goes with this stamp set so you get some lovely dies here so that's my stamp set unused as, uh, from now but i've used the dies um so this is from this stamp set and i love this border i think it's really pretty um so what i'm going to do now it's slightly too long you can see for our oh i didn't tell you the measurements of this the, the stamped panel measures eight eight by ten and a quarter centimeters or three and an eighth by four inches um, I'll try and remember to put these all on the blog post I'm not always very good at remembering to do that so if you need them please give me a nudge if I haven't done it right so like I say this is a bit too long so what I'm going to do is I am just going to trim one of these I don't know what they are blobs off like so so that is like that now you can see that on my cards 
you can either use the pointy side or you can use the curved side doesn't really matter but I like having a choice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take actually what am I going to do yeah I'm going to take my Tombow first of all and just put a smidge of glue down the side here so that I can glue just straighten that up, spread that out again with my cocktail stick it means that you don't get great big splodges of glue like this and that the glue is really spread out and it gets really tacky really quickly I'm going to use the 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 pointed bit here so I'm going to glue there and glue there so there'll be a tiny tiny space at the top and the bottom but I don't think that matters and I've left a little overlap of the solid bit if you don't want that then just glue it a bit closer if you don't want this solid bit along here okay and then we're going to use some more Tombow to glue this panel down And I'll put some along there and then I'm going to come back in with, oh, didn't mean to do that, um, with my um, cocktail stick. Spread all this glue out here, but it's going to be really important for the die cut because it's really difficult to glue these, these die cuts down when they've got tiny little bits. So with a cocktail stick, you can just get some glue on the side of it and just rub it over there. And then you get the tiniest amount of glue and it will make sure what I'm doing um, that the dice cut is well stuck down there we go so now I can place this and I placed mine about equidistance from um, the top and the bottom I need to be careful because I've got glue on here I don't want it to stick because um, I dropped it upside down of course it always lands the glue side up it's like toast always lands the butter side down um, there we go stick that again it's buttered up against the, the edge there okay and then the last thing we need to do is do the greeting and I'm going to use the thank you stamp from um, the um, accented bloom set and I just need to make sure I've cleaned this because I've just done the one with Mel 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 mango melody and I don't want to get that on my um, my, my um, melon mambo stamp set okay i actually hate using this i love the color of melon mambo but it gets everywhere i always get it on my fingers it takes weeks to come off if you get it on your clothes Lord, i don't know what you do i don't think it'd ever come off it just stains so much okay so i'm going to stamp there we go it looks a bit of a strange color when it first stamped but it dries a really lovely pink um you just need to wait for it to dry for it to change color to the nice bright um, hot pink that melon mango mambo is right and then I'm going to come in with the tailored tag die you could easily do this by hand you don't need the die they're all straight lines you could just cut this out by hand if you don't have the, the punch it's a nice punch to have for various greetings but it's not absolutely essential for this so if you don't have the punch you could just cut round and leave a little white border right there we are and then we just need a few um, dimensionals just use a few little dimensionals here. To say I'm getting a bit short of dimensionals. I've got an order going in quite soon. I'm going to pop dimension, a lot of dimensionals on there so that I don't run out. There we go. And I've loved since these little mini ones come out. It means I don't use nearly as many and they do last a bit longer. Right, there we go. So just take off the backing. like so and put that in the space that so it fits exactly and there we are that's all that needed to be done there we are very pretty little cards i quite like these so we've got them in three color schemes now i wonder which one is your favorite erring on the side of this one for me i think i do like that color combination but i quite like them all i love these bright colors um so i hope you've enjoyed that project um i hope you'll have a go yourself if you've got this stamp set if not you know you can go down the bottom and the link to my shop is there and you can buy it um and that's all from me today Please carry on ordering and earning your free celebration stuff. Um, if you don't know about celebration, there's information on my blog or just drop me a note and I'll be glad to fill you in. Um, but it means that every order you place for £45, you can earn some free products. Um, that's it from me. 
thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Bye!